What's up folks, Simulation for the Nation here. In today's Look Ahead episode 2 from in Simulator 22, we're going to discuss animals. Perhaps the only remaining game feature of FS22 where we actually know little to nothing concrete about just what we can look forward to. Indeed, we do know that the usual suspects will be appearing. Cows, sheep, pigs, hens and horses. But will that be all? Could we perhaps see a new arrival? Who knows? So let's take a look at just what we do know and what we can only speculate over. To do this, I think we're going to start by stripping animals right back to their foundations. Quite literally in this instance, as we look at one key feature announced at FarmCon this year. Animal halls have now been redesigned. With newly licensed buildings featuring new animal halls from Human, these are color configurable to match your farm and design. You can even choose the specifics of how you'd like to set up your animal pens with either full pens or with the company buildings and all the essentials or just the pastures the fences and the essentials needed as in the picture here these new sheds are fully functional with animated gates and doors where applicable also check out the new symbols for what would appear to be the interactive window and i'm guessing the feed station as well not too sure about those today we've only seen the footage for the cattle sheds but one has to believe we'll see the same again for sheep pigs and of course horses and i do hope hens will become a little more complex in the base game too perhaps with a bit more of a redesign on what that could look like now let's move on to the animals themselves the cows certainly appear to have a thorough remodeling look at the animations as they walk around the place here more facial animations to go with the movement certainly make them feel more re realistic I, would, I for one would love to see their behavior change as uh, you change the environment they're in. For example, as you fill up the feed trough, they start to run towards it to start eating. Once again, with the other animals, we really don't know much at all, but perhaps my biggest question surrounding this will be offspring, particularly if we will have indeed have them around. Can we produce lambs, calves and piglets, for example? Will they be modeling the game and have their own attributes? I certainly do hope so. Speaking of attributes, let's take a look at the final piece that really caught my attention during the gameplay review of FarmCon. Check out the stats for the cows in this pen as the Giants team review the building. It certainly does look like Giants are taking the leaf from the FS19 season's book, with a focus on the animals' health, food levels, milk levels, straw and slurry levels. Now I wonder, much like in FS19, will the health bar be severely affected by some of the other listed attributes here? For example, if your slurry is filling up there, will you start to see a decline in the animal health? If there's no food there, will the animal health go down as well and milk productions uh, fall back there for animal for cattle as well? One can only hope so. Along those lines as well, with the additions of seasons in-game as standard now, can we now expect to see the animal's behavior adjust based on the season's game status? So for example, lambing, will that start around the springtime there? Can we expect it to start then and last throughout spring? Or carving, will it start in the late winter and work through into spring there? How is that going to work? How will that, will that affect them? Will, they only, will sheep only produce wool a certain period of time as well? All these things would really add into the, to the, the planning of the game. Now, as I've mentioned all along, there are still so many unknowns here with animals for FS22. A lot of things have kind of been put to bed through FarmCon. We were reviewing and hoping that You'd be able to move cattle from field to field perhaps and we know that's not going to happen but that you can put down these more basic placeables so it'll give you like a small pasture within a pasture so that would work to a degree uh so still many other uh, add-ons there or, or questions that we have and we're looking to have answers but personally i think we're on to the right track hopefully a large array of animal sheds uh, designs will accommodate many different regions and playing styles uh, animal work will hopefully now become more challenging in the base game as well with the seasons integration there where additional thought and planning must be made when strategizing your animal husbandry who's to say well to be honest giants are so i guess it's over to them and we'll have to wait patiently but as always this is just a short review of what we can expect or what we can look forward to and we'll hopefully find out more over the coming weeks now if it's anything like the last episode i put out about combines we'll find something out around 30 minutes before this video goes live so let's look forward to that one if you do have any thoughts on this though i would all ears and would love to know so please do hit me up in the comments down below there give me your thoughts and feedback around what you'd love to see for animals for farm sim 22 and i will reply and do my best to uh, keep the conversation going alternatively you can also come and join the fs22 chat i have in my discord forum links are down below for the discord forum there and we'll see you in there until next one though folks do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one